Socioeconomic status shapes people's beliefs, expectations about the macroeconomy, for example, about the returns in the stock market. Uh, what we know is that individuals who are uh, lower education or lower income individuals have more pessimistic expectations about what the stock market could deliver in terms of returns, uh, more pessimistic expectations about what's going to happen to employment levels and other uh, macroeconomic variables. And it turns out this, these pessimistic expectations of lower social economic status individuals drives their choices whether or not they will invest in the stock market, for example. And it can help explain why in this country half of the population, half of the households have nothing invested in equities, nothing invested in the stock market. This has consequences. This is going to keep these people at the bottom of the wealth distribution because they're missing on the chance of wealth accumulation that would come over the long run if you were to invest in things like stocks. And so over time, what you should see is that the people at the top of the socioeconomic distribution, they'll end up with more and more wealth because they have more optimistic beliefs about the macroeconomy, about the stock market. They will act on those beliefs, they'll invest, and this is going to, again, make wealth disparities larger down the road.